world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far, I have shared my experiences with you of what it's like for me to live with autism. Other times, I like to give my two cents as to what's going on with autism in the media. And finally, I will cover topics that I am passionate about that have absolutely nothing to do with autism whatsoever. And in this blog, I would like to continue to share my life experiences with you of what it's like for me to live on the spectrum and try to tackle the unwritten rules of our society and really understand them and pick up an inference or a cue. So I would like to share with you guys a little story. Uh, this was back in uh, 2003 into early 2004 when I first moved down here to Atlanta. My aunt had been teaching me uh, uh, manners and rules and trying to uh, teach me uh, about different social skills. And uh, she had also been trying to get me involved in a mega church where they had a singles group for other people my age. And uh, they also had all kinds of care groups and what a care group was, was a uh, small group of individual Christians that would get together at someone's home and they would have uh, Bible studies and uh, they would have prayer requests and dinner and they'd fellowship. And it was at that time that we had uh, been, or I had been diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome, but my aunt and I were talking about trying to keep that secret and we wanted people to, uh, to see me as a whole and also let people know that, hey, that's none of their business and get to know me first. And unfortunately, that didn't really work. Other people picked up on my quirks and they also seemed to think that I was careless and did things on purpose. So I had attended this care group and it was while I was there that uh, there's another girl that I really liked and I looked up to, but she never called me and never really invited me to things. We just hung out at uh, during the church functions, and she had even uh, quoted to my aunt one time that, hey, we love Maya to death. She's awesome. She's a great sister in Christ. And it was while I was, th it was, while I was in that care group that uh, she and her family had been having problems, and I had felt so bad about it that I uh, brought her prayer request back to uh, the regular Sunday school session, which I evidently was not supposed to do because uh, these care groups that were supposed to have confidential information, uh, people were supposed to trust one another and that they were supposed to um, keep things among themselves and not talk about uh, other issues unless um, the other person was okay with it. But being who I am, I had compassion on her and I felt sorry for her family because uh, they had been facing major oppression from other churches. And uh, they didn't handle it very well themselves. So instead of pulling me to the side in Sunday school and pulling my aunt to the side or calling me on the phone to talk about it, they decided to pull a nasty trick on me. So the next time they had a care group meeting, which was a month after she had uh, done her prayer request and I had uh, brought that prayer request forward. She had, uh, she had offered to give me a ride out of the blue and uh, she said it was because she had just moved to an area closer to my aunt's house so she could give me a ride from now on and I said that maybe I'll think about it, I have other plans and she gave me her number and she said, well, give me a call if you change your mind. And the other plans fell through, of course, and I ended up calling her and uh, saying that, hey, I guess I can make it. You still want to give me a ride? Yes, I can do that. Uh, the only thing is that uh, we need to get you here earlier so that uh, uh, the leader of our care group can talk to you. And I thought, um, are they going to kick me out of this group because I'm not exactly a good fit? Or uh, do they only want members of uh, the congregation to attend? So when she picked me up, I had confirmed it with her and she said, oh, no worries. There are people, they just, you're new to the group and um, he just wants to go over some things with you. So we hung out for a while and had snack and he came over and we started talking and he, he immediately told me right in front of her that, hey, you betrayed your best friend's trust. This is a group where people are supposed to be confidential to one another. And I know that you've got problems of your own. And I'm sorry we didn't tell you this information before. And I also know you're sorry. Unfortunately, we are going to have to hold you accountable. And uh, it was after that that uh, they started treating me differently in that church altogether. And 
it was after that incident that uh, she refused to try to take me home and she tried to get me to call my aunt to pick me up so anyway i want to mention to those of you that are having um, religious groups um, it is really common for uh, someone with a human detour system i mean it's not just someone on the spectrum it can be someone who's legally blind it can be someone who's deaf or someone that has trouble communicating i mean for centuries there have been uh, churches that have not been very nice to uh, the disabled they're uh, someone with a human detour system and I just I don't think they were very nice to my situation and I don't think that it was fair for them to hold me accountable over something I made a mistake over once I mean uh, you tell me not to do something I will not do it again trust me so anyway if you have any questions or comments um, be not uh, please do not be afraid to state below uh, until next time I'm Maya